Welcome to Retro Skill Modeling. This is part 16 of the Archie HMS Hood build, scale 1 to 200. In this part, I'll be carrying on placing more items on the deck, um, the vents, and so forth, like I did in part 15. But I will also be um, starting to put on some of the guns. So I'm putting on the twin guns and the um, uh, launchers as well. So let's jump into this. Oh, well, before I put everything on, the guns and that, I've got some more uh, bolts to make up, as you can see here in part um, 100. I'm also going to go, be going through um, all um, other issues and prepping them. Um, th this was uh, mostly done on uh, in part uh, 15 as well, uh, but I'm just carrying this on. So I won't be showing you all the processes yet again, because you, you've seen me uh, assemble these light bolts and um, obviously paint all the ammo boxes and vents and things like that. But most things are prepped now and um, I'm just uh, placing them on. So what I've done in the prep is I just painted them, tidied them up, um, took away any rough edges and, um, and now it's just time to place them on with a little bit of white glue. So while I'm waiting for everything to dry, I'm going to jump onto the stand here. So this is issue 105, and um, the, the stand itself is a quite an easy thing to make up. Just the normal processes here, I've taken it off the sprue, then sanding down any buffs that I may have before assembly. Now I've numbered each um, uh, part here, um, so I don't get mixed up uh, before assembling it, because uh, some of them are slightly different. Um, but as I said, it's um, a fairly straightforward uh, build. Um, just a little bit of glue, wood glue required, or white glue, um, to um, connect it all together. A little tip when I'm building this, I use the grid lines on my mat to line up with the uh, corresponding beams. Uh, this um, helps to keep it square. Of course, you can use a set square as well, um, but the um, the grid lines are on the map does the same sort of thing. The next issue, 106, is just carrying on with this stand. This stand is um, extremely long, um, as you can imagine, because the size of the ship as well. So the next half of the stand is made up exactly like um, the, the first half, and just all interlinked with each other. Um, I had to be careful to make sure I put in the um, struts uh, the, the proper way in on the inside line and not on the outside line. Um, obvious reason because you don't want to see the on um, glue marks and, and things like that if you leave any glue marks to the eyes uh, showing through your paintwork. Just putting the last cross there beam in now and um, as I said it's quite a, a large stand so I, I need quite a bit of room to, to get this in. The next stage um, will be painting it I'll take it outside and give it a coat of primer first before um, I, I paint it. But if I move the camera there, you'll get an idea how large it is. Issue 107 is for the nameplate or on the stand. And as you can see by the sprue, there is um, another simple uh, makeup for, for this uh, part. Um, just these um, five little pieces uh, to assemble. So again, using my uh, wood glue to um, uh, just uh, connect everything. And once the support structure is made up, it's just a, a simple case of fitting the back and plate on. Now this goes on at a slight angle. Um, I, I had to make sure that I got the angle uh, proper so it wasn't squint. But there you go, simple build. I'm using Revlon Color 331 Purple Red for the background colour. Now this is the same colour I use on the hull of the ship. I should point out actually I've run out of primer, that's why it's not primed. So it just needs an extra couple of paint, uh, coats of paint uh, to get it looking okay. Now the name plate's dry, I'm using Revlon Color 301 White Silk for the lettering. I'm just using a, a fine brush here and just painting over the raised area of the lettering. Now of course you can mask it off. Or you can um, keep it as brass color by simply scraping off the paintwork on the raised area. It takes a bit of time to do this, um, depending on how steady your hand is. Uh, mine's hands are not exactly really steady, but 
Um, I think I've got it okay. So now that the stone's dried, um, I'm going to be painting it black. And I'm just using a, a standard um, generic black acrylic paint here. And I use black primer for this. Um, as you can see, it's a bit patchy because I have sort of run an auto primer. Um, I'm just using my flat brush and putting a nice even coat over the actual stand. And then it's back to the deck and I'm placing on more bits and pieces. These are the covers for the anchor chain that I'm just placing on. Um, if you remember the one at uh, the bottom, towards the bottom of the screen, that's the, the um, run that I had to scratch build. So it does look uh, quite good with the other ones there. So uh, as I said, I'm just carrying on putting all these little pieces on. You can see them on the piece of towel there waiting to go on. So I'm moving on to issue 110 and it's calling for part from issue 109. Now earlier on I said, well previous uh, video, I said the problem with about photo etch parts um, or they're varying in different quality and I've just had another one. Now I've just tried to cut this um, piece off and uh, this is what's happened, it just mangled it completely. See that? So I'm going to see if I can repair it before uh, thinking about scratch building another part. So it's still a bit mangled but I'm going to use it. I've really had enough scratch building for this build. And that's the sort of problems that have been having with the uh, build uh, for the full edge parts and some of the molded parts as well. So. It's taken quite a long time to uh, build these um, little bolts and so forth because of that. But I thought it was uh, wise just to put in this little bit of part of the video just to show you the problems that I'm having. So I've gone on to issue 109. As you see, I'm chopping back and forth on these issues. I'm now placing in the guns. Um, first of all, I'm putting in the... Um, the launchers. Now the instructions say um, the the little holes in there they are uh, there for the um, unit to pivot and that. I, I'm not worried so much about that because I'm actually cementing them in place. I don't want them to move. Every time I have uh, built ships where the guns move they end up breaking uh, over time. So I, I'm just going to cement them in position and uh, be done with that. There's four of these launchers to, to place on, and then it's on to the twin guns. Now, the, the twin guns um, are, well, they're self explanatory really. Uh, the, the main unit just goes out semi. Again, instead of drilling holes to get these to move, I'm just uh, putting them in um, fixed position. Now, if, if you look back on previous issues, uh, I I built the, these a long time ago, but now it's uh, time to finally place them on. There's uh, seven of these uh, twin guns going on uh, initially. So there's three at the back here, two at the sides and one archer in the gun well itself. I think there's a couple left over, so I would assume that there's uh, another couple of placements I'll have to do down the line for these particular guns. But then it's back to the decks and this is the standard ship and I'm just placing on more vents and boxes and cleats and so forth. This will actually bring part 16 to a close I think. In part 17 I'll be carrying more on with the deck work and um, I'll be putting the nameplate onto this stand and I'll see how far I get with that. So if you haven't done so already why don't you uh, check out the channel for uh, my other builds or indeed for the um, previous videos for this uh, build. If you subscribe to the channel you'll be updated with um, or, or up updates including updates for this uh, build. Hit that like button and of course uh, leave a comment. But for now thank you all for watching. Bye bye.